everyone. In this video, we are going to practice adding two two-digit numbers together. We are going to use our base 10 blocks to help us do this. First, let's review our base 10 blocks. We have our cube, which is worth one. We have a long, which is worth 10. And we have a flat, which is worth 100. So there are 100 cubes in a flat. There are 10 cubes in a long. Today, our longs and cubes are going to be a tool that we use to help us add two digit numbers together. Our first step to solve this problem is to figure out how many longs and cubes we need for each number. Okay, so let's start with the first one, 27. To make this number 27 in longs and cubes, we have to look at the tens and the ones. So how many tens are in the number 27? There are two tens in 27. So since there are two tens, I need two longs to start making this number. So we have our two longs and we have seven ones in the number 27. So we need to add seven cubes. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven. We made the number 27. 10, 20, 21, 22, 23, 24, 25, 26, 27. Now we need to make the number 31. So how many tens are in the number 31? Right, there are three tens in the number 31. So we'll need three longs to make this number. One, two, three. We have our three longs in the number 31. And then how many cubes do we need? There's only a one in the ones place. So we need one cube. Let's double check. 10, 20, 30, 31. Now that we have both numbers made with our longs and cubes, we are ready to add. What I'm going to do to make this easier on myself is combine the longs and combine the cubes, just like this. Put the cubes together and bring the longs together. And now we get to count them. So remember, when we count our longs and cubes, we start with the longs, count those by 10, and then when we get to the cubes, we start counting up by one. 10, 20, 30, 40, 50, stop. We don't have any more longs. 51, 52, 53, 54, 55, 56, 57, 58. So when we count all of our longs and cubes together, the number we got was 58. So here is our finished number sentence. 27 plus 31 equals 58. Those are big numbers, but we were able to add them together with the help of our longs and cubes. Let's try another. This number sentence says 64 plus 23 equals, let's use our longs and cubes to find out. Just like last time, we'll start off by making both of these numbers in our longs and cubes. So for the number 64, which number is in the tens place? Right, the number six is in the tens place. So we will need six longs. We have one, two, three, four, five, six longs. The number four is in the ones place. 
So that tells us that we need four cubes to make this number. Let's double check. 10, 20, 30, 40, 50, 60, 61, 62, 63, 64. So we made the number 64. Now we need to make the number 23. So the two is in the tens place for the number 23. So we need two longs because the longs are worth 10. 10, 20. We have our two longs, which are worth 20 for the number 23. And we need how many cubes? Right, three cubes. One, two, three cubes because we have a three in the ones place. Let's double check this number. 10, 20, 21, 22, 23. So now that both of our numbers are made, we can add our longs and cubes together. Remember, when we do this, we combine our longs and we combine our cubes to make the counting part easy. Okay, let's start off by counting our longs by 10, and then when we get to our cubes, we'll count up by ones. 10, 20, 30, 40, 50, 60, 70, 80, 81, 82, 83, 84, 85, 86, 87. So when we count all of our longs and cubes together, the number we came up with was 87. So now we know that 64 plus 23 equals 87. So here's the thing. We don't all have longs and cubes at home to work with, but we can still use this method at home by making drawings. I'll show you how to solve a problem like this by drawing our longs and cubes. To represent a long, all we need to draw is one straight line. To represent a cube, all we need to draw is one little dot. For our next example, we are only going to use the drawings to help us find our answer. Let's solve the equation 15 plus 74 by drawing our longs and cubes. For the number 15, how many longs would we need? Right, we would need one long because there is a one in the tens place. There is only one 10 in 15. So I'll draw one long. And how many cubes would we need for that number? Five cubes. There's a five in the ones place. So we have five cubes or five ones. So let's count our number to see if we got it right. Remember, longs we count by 10. So we have 10 and then 11, 12, 13, 14, 15. Good. We represented the number 15 by drawing longs and cubes. Now, let's represent the number 74 with our drawings. There's a seven in the tens place, so we need seven longs or seven straight lines. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven. We drew seven straight lines to represent the seven longs there would be for the number 74. There would be four cubes in the number 74. So we need four dots to represent our four cubes. Let's count the pictures that we drew to see if it matches the number 74. 10, 20, 
20, 30, 40, 50, 60, 70, 71, 72, 73, 74. So we also made the number 74. The last step is to count all of our longs and cubes or all of our tens and ones that we drew. Remember, we count our tens first. So those are each of these straight lines. Let's count those first. 10, 20, 30, 40, 50, 60, 70, 80. We have no more 10, so now we count up by ones. 81, 82, 83, 84, 85, 86, 87, 88, 89. So our drawings all together represent the number 89. We found that 15 plus 74 equals 89. Great job today. Keep practicing this strategy so that you can get better and better. Thanks for watching.